I never left the world of Dune. In fact, I think Denis thought I was quite mad because I kept writing after we finished the movie. I was like, Hans, the movie's in theater right now and you're still standing me music. He said, yeah, 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 but you understand. I want you to be inspired for part two. So now I want to go and take everything that we're doing and just you know, go, go wider, go weirder. Hans Zimmer brought to the first one different colors, different tunes that will take you immediately to an emotional state or to a frantic state. When I first read the script, I, I, I put on his soundtrack from the first film because it just it immerses you in it. He had to go deeper into the world of the Arkanans. I wanted him to compose music for Fedrota, for the Arkanan world, for the Emperor as well. What you have is good, and if you can go and humanize them. More importantly, I want him to do something unforgettable for Shani. A love team. I wanted something that would be heartbreaking and the most beautiful love team ever written. But by hitting those a little harder, it's like she's telling a story. Mm -hmm. Tell me more of a story. OK. For me, the romance is, is atypical, but it was always going to be the heart of the story, of, of this movie. Look, right there, Spice. Charlie shows him how to love this barren planet. I originally wrote the theme for her and then let it spread, like bleed across into Paul and then let that bleed across into the planet. I wrote the notes, but the notes are only, for me, a tiny part of the journey. The team that surrounds me, we speak the same language. 